all right guys how are you all doing i'm fiesta here and today we have a legend rtx 4080 16 gigs benchmark that's right and it's a 3d mark benchmark right here before that let us see what do we have here 2500 megahertz of clock speed as we're looking at the gpu is not mentioned they covered that but i believe this is an rtx 4080 even this user that reported it saying that rtx 4080 test so what is this rtx 4080 is it a 16 gigs model or an 12 gigs model we don't know but it seems like it's the 16 gigs model because it's a 76 cu you know and it's using ryzen 7 5800x 3d here for the benchmark and if you look into the 3d mark scores here in time spy extreme it got 11,000 uh scores and time spy extreme basically and in uh, Fire Strike Ultra, Ultra 17,209 and Port Royal getting 1,700 again. And basically, this has been uh, showing that it's the fastest, that's right, the fastest uh, GPU that exists in the 3D mark right now. So, yeah, it, it could be the RTX 4080 16 gigs. Again, it's allegedly uh, showing these results. We don't, we can't really take it as a granted, you know. So you have to wait and see, but it seems like this leak is accurate. It has to be. But the problem is, though, that we don't really know if this is actually 4080 because the drivers haven't been, you know, uploaded yet. So how is this GPU functioning? You know, there's a there's that question comes in, into our minds. But yeah, basically, this could be the RTX 4080 16 gigs model or may not be who knows but it seems like it is so we'll see next up we have case king in, a, in a germany there's a retailer here and his, this retailer has already posted the pricing for the z790 motherboards and all of them are asus models and as you can see the rog maximus z790 uh, will cost you 13 basically 1400 euros and the ROG Z790e gaming Wi-Fi would cost you 699 and for Z90F model it's going to be Z629 there's too many Z's here <laughs> that's going to be a bothersome but anyway ROG Z790i gaming which is the you know ITX board and as you can see it's going to be 629 19 uh, or 90 whatever that's the euros again Top Gaming will cost you 429 Tomahawk, MSI, they're right there, there's one MSI model right here out of nowhere. Oh, there's a Gigabyte model too, interesting. So most of them are Asus, there are two MSI and Gigabyte model, again. Tomahawk will cost you 429 again, the Tomahawk boards are getting expensive. But then again, it's Z790, so I guess makes sense, but still, it's kind of expensive. Anyway, so Top Gaming Z90 z790 of course 419 which is more of a budget budget build yeah i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't say budget because it's still z790 z790 that's the prime z790a wi-fi from asus is 419 similar pricing as you can see so ultimately you're gonna have to depend on the features here I, it's, i'm pretty sure there, there are differences in feature but anyway uh gigabyte 790 Aorus elite coming at 369 uh, going a little bit cheaper here that's good uh Prime Z790 P going at 349 and Prime Z790 M going at 3, 309. So yeah, these are the pricing for the Intel Z790 motherboards. But presumably just the Asus motherboards right here and of course MSI and Gigabyte here also. So yeah, they are surprising. And next up we have UL releasing 3D Mark feature for Intel XESS here. And this is a new test for Intel XESS uh comparison so there, there we go taa and xcss you can see the comparison here and well i guess xcss is doing better I mean, it makes sense this is taa and tlsing and this is xcss and tlsing will be you know difference there would be difference again taa xcss i can't really tell if there's that much difference because you know it's the picture is smaller but yeah so this is the new test native rendering plus taa and xcss ultra quality so the new test is here for XESS testing for your, you know, whatever card you're going to use. Ultimately, the visual quality and the performance will matter again. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Next up, we have Acer bringing in their 
uh, A770 Bifrost. Yes, that's the 16 gigs model. It's probably the third model, a third AIB partner they're going for. And this is the... Well, it, it, this card looks weirdly weird. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, what is that? I don't know what that is. It's probably a fan. Is it a blower style model with another fan? Like, I don't really get the design at all. I can see the fin right there. Uh, and right there. It's gonna be 8 plus 8. So, again, not much powerful. But I don't understand this thing. It's probably a blower style. Or may not be a blower style. Because I can't really understand it. That's the back plate. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty good. They, they're also opening this area. I, I've seen this trend where GPU makers are having a cutoff right here for better cooling. So that's a good thing, I guess. And yeah, it's running like this. So I think this is a blower style with another fan. So I'm not... We, we haven't seen blower style models in a very long time, so yeah. But this is more of a hybrid of the normal style and the blower style. Is Do you call it normal style? I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, it's uh, it's lighting up and it's kind of ugly to me. <laughs> Personal uh, preferences. But yeah, this, this is the GPU coming from Acer Bifrost for ARC A770. And next up, we have Zotag bringing in the pricing for their all 4090 models and as you can see for the rtx 4090 trinity is gonna cost you the msrp price as you can see so that's the good thing msrp is there right and if you look into the trinity oc it's gonna cost you a little bit more only 50 dollars but i think that's fair oc you know they're gonna be giving you an overclocked model but then again you can just buy this one and just overclock it you're gonna get the same performance but then again you can also overclock this one and get more performance but yeah i i, I think better is one is to go for the you know msrp and use the 50 dollars and something else but anyway uh and also the rtx 4090 amp extreme aero aero or aero i don't know it's gonna cost you 1700 basically 1699 yeah 1700 so it's gonna give you a hundred dollar premium for an extreme aero model and to be honest i don't really see any difference uh yeah there's a difference right here in in the design but the fan design looks the same even the height probably is the same, you know? So, yeah. And to be honest, this time Zotac really made some good cards. They look beautiful. I have to say, aesthetically, they look nice. That's for sure. So, yeah, the pricing looks fine. They're not over-exaggerating. Zotac never did over-exaggerating pricing. But, I mean, compared to the previous generation, this looks much better as a aesthetic-wise and also for the pricing it remains the you know msrp is st standing right there so that's a good thing all right that is it for today what do you think about the zodiac models i love them i can't really buy them they're expensive but you know they're still msrp so yeah that's a good thing and what do you think about the 4080 16 gigs model is it really a 16 gigs because uh, you know the drivers ain't out yet but you know leakers can grab those drivers from somewhere you know because that's why they're leaker but anyway what do you think about the 4080 16 gigs? And wonder how powerful that card would be, you know? Because it seems like in 3D Mark, it's the fastest card right now. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. And have a good day.